From tablets to drones, even tractors with their own computers. As a farm family of Mississippi, we use the latest technology to get the most out of our land, growing acres of rice, soybeans, and corn. These digital tools help us map out where to plant and harvest. They manage our farmland from a bird's eye view and even tell us the right amount of water to use. It's a smarter way to farm, providing for our family and yours, the farm families of Mississippi. Well, a lot of fighting this football team, even all the way up there to the very end. And I know you're a guy that's a competitor, but what, what are you feeling right now after coming up just short in this one? I mean, it just sucks. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I mean, you know, you're right there. You know, we're a play away from winning the game, but, you know, we got to make a play. Theo, go ahead. Well, what did you think of the game that Rod Rod Thomas had for you guys? I think he has a touchdown in three straight games now. I mean, he's, he's playing good ball right now. He does a lot of good things, and uh, yeah, he's a good target. Stefan, go ahead. Uh, well, Coach Lee said that you guys were kind of out of sync there to, to start the game and in the first half. What do you feel you guys were able to do in terms of adjustments to kind of get better in the second half? I mean, just do it, playing our ball. You know, first half, you know, we were just kind of off. You know, whether it was myself making a bad read or uh, making a bad check or not hitting a guy, or you know, receivers were kind of just off a little bit the first couple drives, but. You know, I feel like as the game went on, you know, progressed, we uh, got back on track a little bit. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Will, when you say you guys got back on track, what exactly worked in the second half compared to the first for, for you and in the offense? Uh, I mean, guys were getting open, and we were throwing it to them and catching it, and we were running the ball. Tanner, go ahead. Uh, Will, obviously, uh, Rob Rob Thomas missed some two touchdowns. He's come a long way this season. What have you kind of seen out of him as a quarterback? He's a guy that gets open, he catches the ball, and he scores. Steve, go ahead. Well, it seemed like uh, they kind of gave a different look. Three high safeties, and it seemed like they were pressing on the corner some, but yet you guys were able to make some plays down the field late. What did you see from them kind of schematic-wise, and why were you guys able to, to, to maybe exploit some of those gaps later in the game? I mean, uh, you know, it's a really – I mean, it's that's true drop eight, you know, if you want to really get into that. I mean, three high safeties, press on the corners, so they're taking away our quick throws to the outside. Uh, you know, they had a really good scheme. You know, they had a really good scheme. But, I mean, man, it's all on us. You know, it's all on us. And, you know, we didn't play well in the first half. and. You know, I thought in the second half we kind of picked things up. You know, uh, you know the running backs made some guys miss in space. Uh, receivers were getting open more, and I was uh, going through my progressions better uh, as the game went on. Uh, but man, yeah, I mean, it just kind of sucks. Theo, go ahead. Uh, well, what did you see from Woody Marks tonight? He had a few big plays for you guys. Yeah, I mean, he does a great job. He always does a great job. Uh, you know, Coach Lee talks about dying hard uh, with the receivers and the running backs. And, you know, I think, I think Woody's a prime example of that. And, you know, the way he runs the ball. And, you know, he's fighting for every inch he can get. Stefan, go ahead. Well, what did you see on that play uh, that ended in the interception there in the first half? Uh, I mean, I, if I'm correct, I think the, it was second down and long. You know, we had just gotten a penalty. Uh, it was second and long. And, uh, you know, it was a play where McCop uh, scrambled right. I think I'm not sure if why I got out of there or anything, but I think I had to scramble right. Uh, and then I was just trying to make a play. You know, we were behind the sticks pretty good, so you know I was trying to keep the drive alive. And you know, I just forced the ball. And the guy made a heck of a play. You know, I don't know. I'm I'm sorry. I probably should know this, but I don't know number 31's name. Uh, you know, but he made a heck of a play, and uh, you know, props to him. Last question goes to Steve. So, well, you know. Bad things happen in football sometimes, and you guys missed some field goals tonight. As one of the leaders on the team, when that happens, what do you do and who do you say and how do you kind of keep the team boosted up a little bit? I mean, man, it's uh, it's difficult. You know, honestly, honest to God, it's really difficult to, you know, keep guys up after a loss like that where you have the lead in the fourth quarter. I mean, that's very difficult, but uh, – I mean, man, we just got to go back to work. You know, that's the only thing you can do. You know, that's what this program's about. That's what this team's about. Uh, you know, we're going to go back to work tomorrow. And, uh, you know, a really, really, really tough Auburn opponent uh, at their place. You know, it's going to be a really tough environment. But, you know, we have to be ready to play next week. 
Hey, Aaron, after a game like this, the, the way it ends, what's kind of the, the mood in the locker room, and how as a team leader do you try to pick people up? Um, <clears throat> Obviously, when, like, when you lose a game like that, people are going to have some down heads for a little bit. Uh, as a leader in the locker room, all you can do is just tell everybody, uh, keep their heads up, give everybody confidence, and knowing that we can do, we can do better. Steve, go ahead. It looked like you guys had to stop there on fourth down, and there's a, a, a penalty call. I, I don't want you to talk about the call, but what happens in the huddle after that? What, what do you guys talk about? How do you kind of get everybody fired up and, and try to finish the job when maybe you didn't get a call? Yeah, uh, well, as you may know, our, our motive around here is play the next play. And, um, although it may be hard to play the next play after something uh, significant like that, we still got to regroup and uh, lead to the next play. Andy, go ahead. How would you evaluate the job you guys did against the run today? Obviously, uh, what, 200 some yards for, for, for Arkansas? Yeah, uh, going into the game, they averaged like 250 yards a game, and our ultimate uh, motive was to stop the run. You know, we just didn't get that done tonight. Steve, go ahead. Offense goes down and gets a big score there, and uh, you guys have a chance to win this thing, you know, on the field. What, what's kind of the mindset when you guys see those guys score and uh, you've only got a couple minutes left to defend the field? Uh, we're thinking um, we can't let them score. That's Overall, that's our ultimate goal, no scoring at all. Uh, they began to drive down the field. Uh, they had the unfortunate call, and they eventually ended up scoring. Um, after that, you could be down on yourself if you want to, but uh, like the offense did, they hurried up and saved us, to be honest, and uh, got down the field. We just eventually missed the field goal, but we still can build up on that and um, uh, get better for next week. Andy, go ahead. On that, on that scoring drive, uh, the, the last one for Arkansas, what kind of allowed them to, to kind of, I guess, run down the field there and get into a position where they could uh, punch the ball in there? Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think we could have just did a better, better job of executing our jobs and uh, doing what we can to stop them from running the ball. Steve, go ahead. What did Coach Leach and maybe Coach Arnett say to you guys in post game? Um, just keep getting better. We got to keep on getting better. Uh, no hanging heads. Nobody feeling sorry for themselves. Uh, just getting ready for practice next week. Andy, go ahead. I apologize. I just took my head off. Any other questions for Aaron? Steve, your hands up. Yeah, so obviously you got to watch this one pretty quickly and get ready for a very difficult road trip to Auburn. As one of the leaders of the defense, you know, what's kind of your message to the group? Uh, just regroup. We got to play. We know as being one of the better, better defenses and better teams in hold, so we got to just regroup and put our foot on our gas and uh, lead on to the next team.